Ceramics 1 is an introductory course in our art department. It falls into a level 1 uh, course. We have four levels in our overall department, as you can see. Uh, ceramics is over here in the 3D section on the far right, which will lead to advanced ceramics. Eventually, advanced ceramics will lead to an AP 3D credit. But currently, um, ceramics, as you can see, is, is right here at level 1, introductory course. Uh, our course, just I just want to navigate you through this presentation to see our course. If you want to read through the description, uh, it's a half credit course. This course cannot be repeated for a half a credit. And you can see that uh, most of the work uh, is his hand building. We do explore the potter's wheel, as you see written here. And um, the assessment or the grading process that we'll go through is, is based basically on the technical strength or the building of your pottery. So you can read that a little bit more carefully. Offered to all four grade levels. Here you can see three examples of, of uh, ceramic pieces that we make in that class. There's some coil pottery here in this first picture. At the top there is an example of, of the type of glazing that we do. It's just a, a glass color coating that we apply to the top of the pottery. Everybody knows what glaze is. And then we really spend a lot of time on surface decoration, taking the clay and and uh, carving into it, imprinting on it, incising it, cutting away at it, adding to it. Uh, surface treatment is something we spend a lot of time talking about. Here's a couple of uh, other examples that I would call a very creative pieces. And we define creativity as an unexpected arrangement of elements. You can see these pictures uh, represent pieces that uh, are very interesting to look at. And uh, I guess when I talk about creativity, I, I want to see a piece that stands out in a crowd. And these two pieces fall into that category. You can see this is a little hobbit house. And then this piece is supposed to represent earth and fire and water all in one piece. So it's a very interesting layout. Uh, the time commitment we expect in this class, it's, again, this is a studio class. There's not a lot of homework. We do weekly web research, but we spend most of our time in class in the studio working with clay. Very little at home. The final exam in this class is a 60-question final. Um, we 20% of your final exam grade is, is assigned to a portfolio of pictures and information that you gather and drawings that you do in the class. So it is, there is a written final for this class because it leads to an advanced level. We also spend time with workshops. We bring in professional artists to do workshops like you see here. Uh, the students learn from, from, from the best in the business and it's really a nice option for us. Here we see a professional potter from, from uh, Chicago Ceramic Supply throwing on the wheel showing our class uh, work. There you can see her finishing up a piece. So that's one of the other nice components of the introductory ceramics class. And then we just think that taking any art class will lead to a more creative brain. I think the brain development, right brain development is really important and learning to think in an alternative problem solving manner uh, is going to make you a more powerful uh, learner, a more powerful maybe college student or employee. We just think that this is an area where we can really improve on uh, a student's experience. We also show work, uh, you know, in our in our area we have five art shows that we participate in and it gives our students an opportunity to get out and have their work publicly viewed, which we put a lot of value on. And a lot of students want to know how this class will help them in the future. And you can see what we think their short-term and long-term benefits. When you take a class like this, you will gain uh, in, in this class, promotion to advanced ceramics, and you can also self-promote from uh, art exhibits. But in the long term, we think it's a cultural experience, a strong helps build a strong college resume, and, and like I said earlier, right brain development, becoming more creative problem solver. So uh, we hope that you sign up for an art class, and um, we think you'll enjoy it.